Yeah, I definitely recommend giving it a go. I think the media like to target individuals and from my personal experience of activism, I'm quite overwhelmed with the impact that an individual activist can make and the media actually really love telling that individual story and sensationalizing it and everyone likes to get on board. So it definitely has received a huge amount of attention. And even though group forms of activism are fantastic too, I think this is quite unique um, in the style of, yeah, a solo person is doing this crazy thing. Everyone kind of wants to know about it and why this person is doing it. So I think it is very effective. So I definitely recommend giving it a go, but of course you really do have to be careful for your own personal safety. I mean, I've lost count the number of times that I have actually been assaulted by staff members inside these supermarkets to the point where someone like a security guard was over on top of my back trying to grab my phone from my hand. So definitely have to be careful and make sure that the person coming to film you is aware of that and can do their best to help you out in that situation and just always having that understanding that something could happen because it's definitely going to trigger a lot of people. But yeah, I think it's critical to be as unique and creative as possible because the more you can do so, the more media and public attention you'll receive and therefore you're getting the animal rights message out to a bigger audience and you're putting it into the public dialogue. So. For me, that is an essential element to my activism because firstly, I'm, I've always loved creativity and I can see the impact that it's having from doing so. So I love, yeah, all the different creative styles of activism.